Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back. My name is Nicoletta, and today is the start of another weekend reading vlog. This weekend is also Dewey's 24-hour readathon, or the reverse readathon, where it starts at 8pm Eastern Time instead of 8am Eastern Time on Saturday. So it's starting in like an hour, about. And so I didn't get a chance to get a nap in, but we're gonna, we're gonna see anyway. I've already been up for a very long time, so this could be a disaster, and now I understand why people who live in other time zones don't like starting at 8am Eastern Time. So we're gonna see how it goes. Um, I don't plan on staying awake for the entire 24 hours, first of all, because I wouldn't be able to, and also it would be more than 24 hours, so like... Um, and then this is also just going to be a weekend reading vlog in general. So my goal is to finish two books during the 24 hours and then start another one on Sunday. So the first book that I want to finish, like tonight, is Salem's Lot by Stephen King. I have... About 125 pages left, so I don't think this could be an issue to finish before either I fall asleep or whatever tonight. So that's number one priority. And then number two, I really want to finish this this weekend. It's super heavy. Uh, Oathbringer by Brandon Sanderson. I am just about halfway through now. Uh, so I have about 600-ish pages left. So I think that's pretty doable she says before she gets tired right before it starts so at the very least I'm gonna finish it this weekend but I would really like to finish them both like within the next 24 hours so we're gonna see how it goes so I think I'm just going to eat dinner and get coffee I also need to order groceries so I want to get that set up so that at least when they come I can just like listen to an audiobook or something and put them away. So that's that's the plan for right now. Okay, so hour three, we have 60 pages, which isn't very good, because I usually read a page per minute, but my groceries came fairly late. First, I wasted time during the readathon ordering my groceries, and then I also wasted time putting my groceries away without an audiobook for some reason, I don't know why. And um, now we're here in hour three with only 60 pages, but that's okay because I have snacks, and I have coffee now, which I didn't have before, so it's all working out fine. And I want to finish at least this first book, Salem's Lot. I have just under 100 pages left, so I think I can do that fairly soon. And then I'll either take a short nap, which seems really dangerous, because I woke up really early today and I'm really tired, so it could be dangerous, or reward myself with coffee and a snack. I might also shower to like wake like wake up a little bit, but yeah, so that's what's happening now. Salem's Lot is starting to like, it's a very slow book, and I always forget about that every time I read it. Like every time I read it, it just feels like it's slower and slower every time, so it's finally, so stuff is finally happening now, so I feel like I can, I feel like I can finish it in the next hour and a half. I feel very confident in that, so I'll check in when I do that. Okay, so now it's um, 10.30 in the morning. I fell asleep. I went to bed at like 2, so I did manage to finish Salem's Lot, and um, I did end up enjoying it. The thing with this book is it's very, very 
slow. And then like, like remembering it, I thought everything happened like right away, but rereading it again 10 years later, I realized, no, it takes like almost 200 pages to like really get going. And like, you know, setting the scene, whatever, but a lot of that could have been chopped out. So I think I have to go with like a 3.5 to 4 star for this, just because a lot could have been just eliminated like we didn't need all that um but I did really love like the last 200 ish pages and that's been fairly consistent every single time I've read it so yeah my opinions I think have changed a little bit I think I am not as into the slow Stephen King build up anymore and but that the lasting impression is still the same. I still enjoy it. It's still a great atmospheric, creepy vampire book. The last like hundred or so pages that you read at night, all alone, it's a little creepy. So yeah, at most four stars, probably more like 3.5 because the bulk of it, like I think it only really gets going. Where is it? page 450 so yeah the last 200 pages are really the only like good thing for me so yeah like a 3.5 but I did enjoy reading it and I'm glad it's finally through because I think the next one is The Shining which I prefer it's like one of my favorite um king books so I'm excited to finally be over this like stumbling block and then I can finally you know move on with my life, my Stephen King life. And then right before bed, I, this was like last night's thing. So I woke up really early on Friday and I thought, okay, you can either like fight, cause I was like ready to go to bed at like eight o'clock. So uh, you can either fight it and like, you know, eat and like drink coffee and whatever, maybe exercise. Um, or you can just like give up and wake up early. So I thought, okay, you know what? I'm gonna give up, wake up early. And then for some reason, right then my body decided, hey, I don't want to sleep. So two o'clock in the morning came around and I had read, um, I think 50 pages of Oathbringer. I took kind of a break in between the two books and now I'm just continuing on with this. So I'm on, now I'm on, now I'm on page 674. So I'm over halfway through, barely. <laughs> And that's going to be today's goal. I have the audiobook for it, so I'll be listening to that while I do stuff. I'm just going to make breakfast now. I also like set my alarm to wake up at like, like after I slept for like four and a half hours. But you know, I just kept hitting snooze and then I woke up at 8.30 and then I laid in bed doing nothing. And uh, now here we are at 10.30, so it happens, okay? So I'm just going to make breakfast. I'm not sure what else I want to do. I kind of want to do other things today, but we'll see if I can do it easily with an ebook, with an audiobook. Otherwise, I'll just skip it. So I just got back from a walk, 
I went out for like an hour and a half, almost two hours, when I listened to the audiobook of Oathbringer. And I'm now on page 740. So there's like four and a half hours left in this 24 hour readathon. So we're not going to finish this today. There's like 500 pages left and it's just not going to happen. So that's fine. Um, it was kind of like a, a dream that it would be, but like, come on, that's a lot of pages, right? It's also like fairly dense. Like it usually takes me like a minute to read a page, but it's taking me a little bit longer to read a page so yeah and then also when I listen to the audiobook it's slower so um, I use Bookly to track how long it's gonna take me to finish a book and combined with like physical and audio it's gonna be like 15 hours because I've basically read like half and a half so far so I think it's fairly accurate so my plan is to read physically for an hour and then listen for an hour and then kind of like go back and forth so I don't get like not bored but like I, I just want to like I don't want to like just sit around the whole day so I know I just went for a long walk but that's not that's not what I mean I mean like you know I don't want to like just sit and read for the whole day so yeah that's my plan for the next four and a half hours. I'm not gonna finish this. I'm hoping to get to page a thousand. That would be super super cool, but I don't really think so. I do want to finish it before the end of the weekend though because I know it seems kind of stupid because most people take more than a week to read a book, but like I don't, so it feels weird even though it's like 1200 pages, more than 1200 pages, it feels weird for me to still be reading a book after a week. Like I started this last Friday, so it feels like I've been reading it for like, you know, six and a half months. So I just want to be done with it this weekend so I can move on to other things. I also did read another book this week, but that's not the point. The point is I don't like reading a book for longer than a week. So I want to get this done because it'll be like nine days since starting so that's my goal I'm not gonna if I don't finish it I'm not going to bed on Sunday until I finish this book so it's finished it's gonna it's gonna get finished this weekend no matter what okay so super quick update I didn't update last night after the readathon because I was just feeling like really like weird and tired and headachey so um I got to page like 700 ish and Oathbringer. I can't remember exactly. I didn't write it down for some reason. Anyway, uh, before the end of the readathon, so before 8 p.m. Eastern Time, and I've since gotten to page 1070, so we're like on the home stretch now, which is super exciting. So um, the plan is to finish up I think it's like 175 pages that are left so to finish up that today which I'm not gonna have an issue with at all then I'm gonna edit my two hour wrap up to under an hour somehow and uh, then we're gonna pick another book so I anticipate finishing Oathbringer by like it's like 11 o'clock so by like I don't know three four I think that's pretty reasonable and then yeah we'll pick up we'll pick another book I'm really like pleased with how much I've read so far this weekend it's gonna be over like 700 pages so I'm very pleased with that and I don't think I'm gonna get to a thousand that'd be really cool maybe next weekend we'll try for that
So I just got back from a really long walk. I wasn't anticipating on being gone for so long, but yeah, I listened to uh, Oathbringer on audio when I was walking. And when I got home to see what page I was on, I only have 50 pages left. So I'm really excited about that. I'm just going to eat something because I'm now starving because I was gone for hours and hours and it was super like hot outside so yeah I'm going to eat finish this book and then wait until November when the next one comes out I guess okay I just finished Oathbringer like three seconds ago um I can't wait for November now because things are really starting to happen so I really really enjoyed that I I think I like this one the best actually so far. They're all five stars but I really really enjoyed just everything about this one like the characters are like really we're really starting to like dive deep into them and obviously the world is expanding and the political intrigue like each time each book is just like more and more there's just more and more and more to it and just like more depth to it to everything so um, yeah, I'm really really enjoying I really really enjoyed that and yeah now I can't wait until November and the sad thing is when I read that like it's gonna be such a long time until the next one so like I'm used to reading them so quickly like next to each other so I read three of them this year so yeah I really really enjoyed that I don't want to say too much because it is the third book and there's like there's a lot going on in this one but yeah I really enjoy that five stars and I can't I can't wait also if anyone is curious it took me exactly 35 hours to read this whole book so that's the reason why I really like bookly because you can like track your stats and yeah I really it's like I'm always curious to see how fast it takes me, how long it takes me to read a book, especially like a really big book, because it seemed like I was reading that forever, but 35 hours is like, well actually it's a work week, just under a work week, so I guess it is a long time considering I read it in like uh, nine days, so I guess that is a long time now that I think about it. Also unrelated, but I just noticed this like 20 minutes ago. I was in the sun for a very long time today and I managed to get like a tiny sunburn just right here so yeah nowhere else I also have like a weird tan does this make any sense it's like a t-shirt tan but I wasn't wearing a t-shirt so I'm not sure how that happened and then also like just this burn right here so that's fun it doesn't hurt or anything but it's just like it's fairly small but I just thought that was really weird because I can like whenever I look over my shoulder I can just see it and I just like laugh at it because it's so ridiculous anyway now I want to it's like five o'clock 5 30 I want to finish editing my wrap-up I already edited it once but it's still an hour and a half long so I want to edit it again and just kind of like trim promote anything that like is unnecessary so because it's, it's just too long so I want to do that so I can get it um, scheduled for next week and I think I'm gonna pick my next book now as like something to look forward to because I need a reward to do like any task so I'm gonna pick that now okay so these are all the books still on my August TBR and I really, the whole point of this month is I'm reading books that I really want to get to. So like I can't just choose. So I've just decided to do like a random number generator. So we're going to do that now. Um, I need to change this. That would be... So eight. Okay, so seven. So Kingdom of Copper is what I'm going to read next. So that's exciting because the third book just came out. So I need to catch up. So that's what I'm going to be reading next.
So it's the end of the night now and I thought I would just update on what I read and how much of it I read. I finished Salem's Lot this weekend and I also finished Oathbringer. So all together I ended up reading 811 pages, which, well, plus a little bit of Kingdom of Copper, but I'm not really going to count that because it's so little. But yeah, so this weekend, 811 pages. I think that's a pretty decent weekend. I think maybe next weekend I'm going to try for a thousand pages. I think it'll be fun. I like to challenge myself in ways that don't matter. So yeah. So thank you so much for watching and I would love to know if you also participated in Dewey's 24-hour readathon, the reverse readathon, and if you had a vlog for it or how much you read. I thought I was going to read a lot more, but then I took that unplanned, like, 10-hour sleep, so it didn't really work out in my favor, but I did really enjoy it, and I'm looking forward to October where the regular readathon happens, so it starts at 8 a.m. Eastern time. I do a lot better during the regular readathon just because you, know, you start at like 8 a.m. and then you go, like it's easy to stay up during the day obviously so I don't really hit a wall until like 2 or 3 in the morning and then by then the readathon's like almost over anyway so I do a lot better then and I I want to say that's like the third Saturday usually in October but yeah I'm excited to participate then. I do really poorly for readathons that like start at midnight or like start at like 7 or 8 p.m. because I'm just too tired. I need to have like you know I need to start strong. So I'd like to see how everyone else did doing uh, their Dewey's reverse readathon and I will see you in the next video.